We in that kitchen whipping up some jambalaya pasta. And let me tell you, it's Big Back Boomerang Effects certified. Put this in your rotation immediately. Oh, yeah. I was about to do my little New Orleans ass. <laughs> this ain't New Orleans food. <laughs> man, I just love New Orleans food, man. But look, anyway. Alrighty, so we're gonna get off into a creamy jambalaya pasta. Alright, so imagine jambalaya just instead of rice peas and pasta, and it's it's vibe. It's the best way I can explain it. You got Cajun flavors, you got a little bit of spice, a little bit of creaminess, all fused in one bite. Crazy. This one be perfect for you. Day nights, maybe not a meal prep because it's not all that healthy. But uh, you in for a good time. So look, head to the description box so you can grab the ingredients and make this along with me. And while you're down there, make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be tapped in with all recipes coming your way. All right, let's get it done. I do my thing in the kitchen. My name is Cord. I'm for the culture, and I'm here with a vision. We here to talk, chop it up. They say the odds are stacked against us. <laughs> we ain't seen that bet. And the things we do in kitchens, y'all ain't seen that shit. Yes, Lord, let me talk. Listen, man, we here for a good time, not a long time. Matter of fact, we here for a great time. You now turned into Kitchen Culture Podcast. All right, so we got about four to five boneless skinless chicken thighs and a pound of some pure divane large shrimp. All right, so we're going to season these both the same way. Start off with some hot sauce. Come through with some of that Tony's. Now right here, keep in mind that a lot of the flavor is still gonna come from the cream sauce, so you ain't got an OD on the, on the season. Cause that Tony's do carry some salt. Oh, and some garlic powder. Onion powder. Sprinkle in some smoked paprika. Throw in a little Caucasian pepper. Then just make sure you get your hands in there, mix them around real good. Make sure every little speck of this chicken is coated and seared. Then just repeat the same with the shrimp. First things first, I'm gonna start us off with a bell pepper. No matter which color you do, it could be red, yellow, green, but get you one. So we're just gonna go ahead and cut this on up. Cut this in strips and then we're gonna dice this up. Now, by all means, if you want to buy them pre diced or whatever the case, uh, you can do that too. Because a lot of times you don't feel like going through the extra step. All right, next, gonna go ahead and grab you an onion and cut that on up. <laughs> then you just want to finally dice your set. You want to make sure your water is at a rolling boil. All right, so we're gonna hit this with some salt. Now, it's hard to over salt your water, but just keep that in mind. Don't, don't be real. And we got a pound of some penne pasta. Is it penne? Penne? I've been told it's All right. Now, I'm gonna keep saying this with every pasta video. You don't need to add no extra oil or nothing like that. Just simply stir it around for about a good 20 seconds, and then you're good. It ain't gonna stick. All right, so we're gonna let this go for about eight to nine minutes. I'm gonna hit our skillet with some grapeseed oil. We can use avocado as well. So we're gonna come in with some andouille sausage. And we're just gonna brown these for probably about three to four minutes each side. We just wanna get a little melanation to these sides, all right? All right, we're gonna set these aside on the plate. And all of those drippings, we're gonna leave that there. Let's get this flavor that we created. We ain't wasting no time in that same skillet. Drop them shrimp on them. So you see, here's the thing. For you people that overcook your shrimp and have that rubbery ass shrimp, look, you don't need to cook it for about 90 seconds to two minutes. That's, that's it. That's really all it takes on each side. 90 seconds to two minutes. Once, if your shrimp start to look like a circle, 
you done definitely took that thing too damn much. So, just be mine. All right, in the same skillet. Again, don't scrape or wipe nothing out. Just take your shrimp out. Go ahead, don't waste no time with it. Drop some boneless chicken thighs on there. See, the best part about this, it's a one pan dish. So if you're anything like me, you hate watching dishes, this is right up your alley. We're gonna let these thighs cook on medium high heat for about seven to eight minutes each side. Wipe the skillet out, but we're gonna keep the extra oil and the drippings behind, all right? That's why always keep that. In the same skillet, drop in half a stick of unsalted butter. Now we're gonna dump that tray on it. So we're gonna add a cup of our diced celery, a cup of them diced green bell peppers, and then a cup of onions. All we're doing here, we're trying to cook down our trinity and soften it up. So let this go for about five minutes. So while waiting on that to finish up, you gotta tap in with my cookbook, Kitchen Culture. All right, the best Big Bad cookbook on the market. I mean, it ain't all Big Bad recipes. It's like a good three vegetable recipes. You know, I kind of felt like I overdid a little bit, but just let me let me put you on real quick. So it's all sorts of recipes up in this thing. So you got some buffalo chicken sliders up in there, honey chipotle garlic shrimp, you know what I mean? Cocktails, hey, that, that's me. Some basil garlic lamb chops, deep fried ribs, you know what I'm saying? It's all sorts of stuff in here from deep fried goodness to, to holiday meals, mac and cheese, cocktails. The possibilities is endless, but look, grab you a copy of the book through my YouTube shop or hit the description box below. But back to the recipe though. So we're gonna add us in six ounces of some tomato paste. Add us in some garlic paste. So we're just gonna go ahead and work this into our veggies. As this cooks, it's gonna cook for about five minutes until we get these vegetables softened up a little bit. All right, now we're gonna add us in two cups of some tomato sauce. So now we're gonna go ahead and add us in some heavy cream. All right, so we added a cup and a half of some heavy cream. Now I know what you're probably thinking. You're looking at the color of this and the rest. Just, 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 just trust the process. Trust the process. It's all gonna work out. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and hit this with a little bit of time. Just a little bit. Garlic powder. And then we're gonna add us in two bay leaves. Just to give it that authentic feel. Cover that on up with a lid. Let it simmer for about a good 20 to 30 minutes on low, okay? We just wanna get that flavor. Out. So we're gonna take our noodles, add them noodles on it. So get all them noodles covered. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and grate up some Parmesan cheese. And don't be scared, you know what I mean? Go ahead, don't be shy with it. Just keep on grating until you got olive garden, you know what I mean? Just go until it feel right for you, you feel what I'm saying? So even if, there's no right or wrong answer. Because in reality, at this point, you can't make this really be healthy, you know what I mean? So. Side note, now if you are trying to make this more of a meal prep type thing, ease up on the heavy cream. Ease up on the heavy cream and ease up on the cheese just a little bit. You know what I mean? Get, to, get ready to plate this bad boy on up. So, in no particular order, you know what I mean? Get your sausage, get your chicken. Last but not least, get you some green onion or some parsley. Grate that up, put that on the top. So now we're gonna add us some crushed red pepper. Now, 
you ain't gotta add so much to make it spicy. This is really for aesthetics. Yes, Lord, let me talk. <laughs> you tuned into the Chef Cool in the Kitchen. We're here for a good time, not a long time. Matter of fact, we're here for a great time. Yes, Lord, let me talk. <laughs>